Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this motorbike. This is part of a project that I was doing with a few of them. But uh, unfortunately I've had a little happy accident with one of them where I completely destroyed the front wheel. So for the time being I'm just gonna do this one. I actually like motorbikes better than cars especially choppers and Harleys and uh, those kinds of motorbikes. So I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this one. I hope you like it too. So this is what I've got. He hasn't got a brand. He only says in there, China. So if anybody knows, I have no idea what this is. As you can see, the handlebar is completely knackered. So I'm gonna have to sort that out. Also, this is made out of plastic, so I'm gonna see if I can make my own. I'm gonna take you apart now. I've already done it, so I'm just gonna show you. Everything's attached with these sort of long rivets. In the case of the wheels, it works as an axle as well. The wheels are actually not really good, but it's what it is. This is only plastic and it makes it look a bit cheap, so I'm gonna see if I can make my own. It only says in there China, so if anybody knows what this is, please let me know, because I wouldn't mind to have a look at uh, other motorbikes. As for the body itself, it's made up uh, two halves, and it's got a river there, and another one there, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Of course, I'm gonna make the center line blend with the rest of the body. After stripping that kind of a easy ride the paint job, I'm gonna see if I can get rid of the center line and also a few casting lines here and there. This is even worse, it's got casting lines everywhere, so more filing.
and this is what it looks like after a bit of polishing. As for the body, there's a huge rivet on the tank, so I've used a bit of super glue and baking powder as a filler. This part that holds the handlebars has worn now, and of course the hole is a bit big and it moves everywhere. So I'm gonna use a bit of this tube from a cotton bud just to make it tighter. Now I just need to fill the joint with a bit of super glue and baking powder. I'm gonna let it cure and then I'll sand it down. And uh, as I've been practicing with the soldering in iron, I'm gonna do the CC bar with a paper clip. For the paint, I'm going for candy orange. The handlebars are actually made out of copper and you can see that after filing the copper is coming through. So I'm gonna do a bit of electroplating. The other part has been there for a couple of minutes and if you can see, it's already covered in nickel. If you want to know how to do this, I recommend that you check Bare Metal's channel. He's really, really good. It doesn't take too long, and you'll see the difference after a few seconds. I'm gonna leave it a couple of minutes and then it'll be ready for polishing. Now I just need to paint the rest of the parts in silver. Putting it back together, it was actually a lot harder than I thought.
The engine is in two halves, and uh, both halves don't really fit perfectly with each other. So it's a bit fiddly. There's also a big gap in between the wheel and the fork, so I need to find some spaces. That's a bit better. I've only used a bit of the same cotton wood that I was using before, and I cut a couple of rings and uh, use your spaces. You've got to align all the holes at the same time and uh, with only two hands it's a bit difficult. The back wheel is actually more difficult and uh, the size doesn't help. I forgot to file the rivet down. And now it's time to do the final touches. As a last minute idea, I've decided to do the clutch cable as well, and I'm gonna use a guitar string. I'm just using a bit of super glue, I let it dry and then I'll do the other side. And there you have it, from Easy Rider to Easy Tiger, it's ready for cruising. Something a bit different today. And I think motorbikes are beautiful. Thanks a lot for watching, wonderful people. 
And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.